Hi, in this screencast I'd like to show you how you can use a tool that I have created and that will be made available for free to all Solid Quality Journals users that can help you to automatically create, populate and maintain a slowly changing dimension type 1 object. We are going to use as an example as two databases, the staging database and the data warehouse database. Into the staging database we will hold all the intermediate data and the data warehouse database is the final database where our dimension will be created and all the data will be loaded into. So, in the staging database we also have a view that uh, prepares for us um, the data in the exact shape we will expect them to have when they will be put into the data warehouse. So this view uh, simply gathers data from staging table from other databases and uh, set the correct uh, um, column names and does the correct joins in order to have uh, in this case all the customer data we need to create our dimension. Once we have that, we are basically done, because the tool will take care of everything. The tool is called Dimension Load Package Creator, and actually it does not only create the package, but also create a lot of other stuff like store procedures and tables. So we just have to double click on the executable to launch the tool, and then we have to specify the connection string to the staging and to the data warehouse database. The connection string in this examples, in example are already provided, so we don't have to uh, write them, and so I just can click on connect. Immediately after I have clicked on connect, I uh, have a list of all the views that are available in my database to be used by this tool. The views to be usable need to follow some rules that can be, of course, personalized and in this case the view we are going to use to create the dimension is the view dim customer so once we have defined the view we can also choose uh, the dimension of the the name of the dimension the package the package that will be created and then the slowly changing key so we have uh, several business key that are used to create uh, uh, this view that are gathered from the source system and uh, in this case the only one column that uniquely identifies the rows in our dimension will be the customer code we don't need the, the address code so we'll so we just remove it from the selection here we have uh, to select uh, all uh, the other attributes that our view has uh, gathered for us which of these attributes are type 1 and type 2. In this case, since the uh, the example is related only to a slowly changing dimension type 1 dimension, uh, basically we just have to select all the attributes in the type 1 section. Again, this is already done by default. So, once we have done this, we can just click on generate. The tool will run and will generate several objects for us. So now that everything is finished, a couple of seconds, we can close the tool and then we can go on the staging database and see what's happened here. So first of all, let me show you that uh, we have now two additional store procedures and one store procedure is in charge of adding the dummy members to the dimension and the other procedure is in charge of merging changed data into existing data. We also have uh, an additional table now, the temp dim customer. Here um, in this table the, the, the package that has been created for us and I will show you in a couple of seconds will put all the data that already exists in the target dimension but that has changed so in the temp dimension customer table we will have all the changed dimension values that 
can be merged into the final dimension table in the data warehouse database. So all the, the all the changed data so will be stored in this table and the merge procedure will take care of merging the data into the data warehouse dimension. Of course into the data warehouse database we have a new table now that is the dimension table. Everything is empty of course right now. Now we can just um, create uh, an integration services package. So let's create a new one. And uh, just add an existing package, the package uh, that has been created for us by the DLPC tool. So open the package, import the package and let's see in action. So the package may look very simple and actually it is. First of all we clean the temporary table then we load the dimension. We get data from our view. We calculate the checksum of all the slowly changing dimension type 1 attributes. We just uh, set an additional column with the, with the time of the last update and then we are going to check if the uh, if the, the row that, has, that is being processed already exists in the final dimension table or not. If yes, we also get the checksum that we stored in the dimension, otherwise well, otherwise we just have to insert uh, the row into the final dimension table because it's a new row, it's a new, uh, completely new set of values. If uh, the rows already exist, uh, we just have to check if uh, there has been some changes between the row that we have in the data warehouse and the row we are loading. If such changes happened, then we just store the row with the changed data into the temporary table. If we have detected some changes then we call also the merge procedure in order to move and merge the data from the temporary table into the final data warehouse table. So let me execute this and voila we can just now see what exists now in the our, in our dimension as uh, you can see the dimension has been loaded. For each row we also have calculated the checksum and uh, uh, we also have put a last update column that allows us to know when this row has been updated. Now to simulate a change we can simply uh, change some value in the source data. So we are going to change the name of Francis Adams to Francis 2 Adams 2. Okay. So that uh, our view, so the source view, we show that one of our customers has new data. So let's see what happened when we run the package again right now. We execute the package and of course the package has detected that that uh, row has changed and so it moved the changed data into the temporary table and then called the merge procedure in order to merge the data stored in the staging temporary table into the dimension table in the data warehouse database. So this means that we can just go there execute the query again on the dimension table and as you can see here the data has been updated and uh, also the, the time at which the row has been updated has been recorded. Of course this is true also if we simply uh, remove the, the data from here so we can delete 
from our dimension where ID in customers equal one. So by deleting a row, we just simulate the fact that uh, we have additional data available in the source data and we have to insert this new row into the dimension table. So if we run the package again, now the package will detect that we just have uh, several existing rows but only one is a new row and needs to be inserted directly into the data warehouse. So that's it. Basically, the DLPC tool have created for you a complete set of objects and a full functioning package that allows you to load a slow change in dimension type 1 dimension, all in a couple of seconds. The tool is also capable of handling slow change in dimension type 2 dimension and a mixture of slow change in dimension type 1 and slow change in dimension type 2 within the same dimension. More on these on the next screencast. Thanks for watching. See you on the next screencast.